Online Teaching Techniques Correcting Pencil Paper Tests Online My name is Katherine Maloney and I teach math classes online and I'm going to show you how I grade these pencil paper tests right here on my computer. The supplies that I use are Microsoft Word 2010 a Bamboo Fun tablet. I love this and this is actually the one that I use. There are newer versions um, but I purchased this one two, three years ago and it's still working great. You'll need to get your test scanned to JPEGs or maybe a photo from a phone. A lot of my students, you probably also have an iPhone, I have an Android phone, and they all take really great pictures. What I do ask of my students is that they are required to have their proctor email me the images from their proctor's email address. That means that the student can't just take the test, take a picture, and email it to me from their account. It actually has to be from their proctor's email address. I'm creating this video using PowerPoint, a headset with microphone, and a screen capture software called Camtasia Studio. These are not required to grade your tests online. So let me show you how I do it. So here's Word 2010. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Insert, click Picture, and I'm going to pull these pictures in. These are all JPEGs, and all you have to do is highlight them and say Insert. What's really great when you do this is that they end up in the order that you have them in your folder. So this was page 1, page 2, and page 3. And that's really handy, especially when you're grading lots of tests. It's really nice that they will come in order. Now let me show you how to grade this. You'll go into Review, and here on the end you'll see Start Inking. So you're going to click on that. This is where we're going to use the pen and tablet. My pen is highlighted, and right now black is highlighted. But you could choose red, blue, green, or kind of a grayish color. So black is highlighted now. I just took my pen in my hand, and here we go. This is me just writing right on the tablet. What's also nice about this is, this is actually a practice test that I have for my students. I can actually write the solutions right here, save it as a PDF, and upload it for students so that when they're practicing, they can actually see the answers. I don't have to write this out on paper pencil, then scan it, then possibly save it as a PDF, all of that work. You don't need to do it because it's right here. Once again, you can keep going down, and I haven't done anything different, and there we go. We also have this highlighter, and that's really slick too. If maybe you're an English instructor, or um, you're grading or you're grading a midterm or a history paper or something and you want to highlight something and mention it to the student, this is really neat. But let's say you did it and realize, oh wait a second, I don't want to do that. Go to Eraser and simply erase what you did. You can also change the color to anything you'd like. Here's a nice purple. Remember to click on your pen and there's your purple. Now for my students, I think it's really easier if I save these as a PDF and then email them out. So let me show you how to save this. You'll go into Save. You can save it as a Word document. I have Acrobat Professional, so I save it as a PDF. What this is actually saying is first I have to save the document, which is great because if I'd done all that work and didn't save it, I would be very upset with myself. So I'm just going to save it as test, as a Word document first and then we'll save it as a PDF. Here it is. And I'm going to show you how nice this looks. And here's our PDF document with our markings. And we'll go down a little bit. There's our purple. I think this is just really nice. It's easy. Another nice thing is now I have their tests not only saved as blank, or with just their answers on it, but also saved with my markings on it. So when you email it to your students, they can print it up with the markings. One thing that I do suggest is if you mark things, don't mark right over their work. Kind of mark underneath it so they can see their work and the correct answers. Thanks for watching. Please add comments or suggestions for other online instructors and myself below.